Hello and welcome back to Andrew Plays. We're back for chapter four of Breaking Point today. We're heading to Silverstone. So a real test for rookie Aiden Jackson is returns home with hopes of impressing the crowd and earning their support at the historic circuit. Obviously last time out in France we had just a race. I don't know what's going to happen here. I also don't know when this episode's going to be out. I probably haven't got time to edit it before the wedding so it might be mid-August by the time this happens so apologies for the long gap in videos as I say had my wedding had some time off but we're back we're gonna keep going strong let's see what happens at the British Grand Prix so they've announced Fernando Alonso is making a comeback and trivia time oh, but before that we've got a phone call Hello? Hello, mate. Who is this? Oh, come on, keep up. It's Devon! Butler? The very same. How did you get this number? Uh, it doesn't really matter. Listen, listen. I just wanted to pass on a bit of friendly advice. Oh. Now, it's always tricky racing on your home track. The pressure. All the fans watching. It's a nightmare. Right, yeah. I imagine it is. But if you keep your cool, you stay focused, you will get through it, okay? Just just imagine it's a different circuit on the other side of the planet. Then, when your race does fall apart, it'll be a lot easier to deal with. Yeah, uh, great advice. I knew you'd think so. Anyway, good luck out there today. Just just try and make it to the end, eh? <laughs> Ta-ta! Uh, yeah, good luck to you too. I'll see you later. So, a quick phone call with Aiden Jackson. What a lovely fellow he is. Let's head to the race. Like I said, I don't know if we're going to get cutscenes here. We're mid race, so that implies we're getting something of a cutscene. Capsize on fantastic Q3. Aiden Jackson is enjoying one of the finest career performances when a front tyre puncture, front right puncture, threatens to ruin his chances of a top five finish. With friends and family sitting in the stands and crowd behind him, Jackson sets his sight on salvaging what he can from the race. Tires are gone. Copy, Aiden. Box, box. Copy. Let's just minimise the damage. So here we are in the British Grand Prix. You can see there the front right tire is absolutely gone. So we go into the pits. And we're going on to the stop. It's a fantastic pit stop from the Racing Point team. 1.8 seconds. However, you can hear the cars dashing past us. We come out of the pits in 16th in the end, which isn't too bad for us. Still time left to push for the points here, Aiden. Copy. And we have a 3.4 second gap to Ricardo. Latifi is behind us, but on fresh softs that's going to be no issue for us at all and we're gonna push through and start to chase down we're aiming to try and get some points in this anything that we can pick up would be fantastic I'm not expecting us to get tons of points but hopefully we'll be able to pick up a fair few nevertheless as we come round cops, obviously, where we had a bit of an incident in real life between Verstappen and Hamilton. And then we through, come through Maggots and Beckett's, and then down onto the hangar straight, and we can see Ricardo is losing time to us very quickly, thanks to these fresh stops. And through Stow we go, and then into Bale and Club for the final few corners. Giovinazzi is right in front of Ricardo. We might even be able to get them both in one go if we can get close enough. We are right on the back of Ricardo, but we know going into turn one is not an overtaking option, really. So we hold off. And then as we go into turn three, we already passed Ricardo. We're going to dive down on Giovinazzi. We ride the curb. And can we get around him? Through turn four of them five, we can, and we are leaving 
Giovinazzi and Ricardo in the dust as we go down towards turn six. But we skip forward to the end of this that lap and now as we come out of this corner I forget about the manual gears for a moment there. We get them back under control and again we just hold off a little bit into turn one so that into turn two we can get past Ackerman and dive on Vettel but can we make it stick through turn four? We just about can. We're going to go round them eventually through turn five and onto the straight with DRS to pull away. And then once again, the end of lap, that lap. That was the fastest lap of the race. Keep this up. You can see we're starting to close down on Alex Albon. And as we go... Okay, you're creating some breathing space between you and the car behind by a few seconds per lap. And as we get that update from Jeff, we're already past Albon now. Hards versus softs. He's got no chance of beating us for that traction. And out of turn five, we, we've already left him, essentially. And we've got Butler ahead of us to be the next man that we want to close down. And he's about a second and a half behind Kvyat. We have five laps of fuel remaining. We're more than comfortable for fuel, so we can really push on as we head into Cops and through Magnus and Beckett's we might be right on the back of Butler. We're already closing the gap massively on him. And I remember a couple of years ago, this used to be flat out through there. Now I actually have to lift a little bit to get through there. But we are going to go past... Past Albon. Uh, Butler, sorry, into Stowe. But we can't make it stick because we get a really poor entry. Then we lock up a little bit into turn 16. But now with a good exit here. We look up the inside but we're not, without DRS we're not going to get him. So we again we hold off into turn 1. Get a great exit so that going into turn 2 we can dive down the inside of Butler. Nothing he can do about it. And then as we exit this, we're going to have DRS on Kvyat as well. Which means surely, as we come up towards turn 6, Kvyat's going to be able to do nothing about it. There is contact, but it's not significant. And we are able to glide past Good. him. Good job, nice overtake. And now we know we've got Sainz and Leclerc ahead. Two laps to go. That was the fastest lap of the race so far. Gap to teammate behind is 11.3 seconds. And when we get to one lap to go, well, two laps to go, we are right on the back of them. They've lost time squabbling with each other. Science has lost the place to Leclerc. There's a little bit of contact there as we come through turn four. But out of turn five, we're going to have DRS. Science also has DRS, but our fresh softs still doing really well for us. Signs defends to the inside and we nearly go into the back of him but we go all the way around the outside and then going into turn 7 we have the inside and that is a fantastic overtake on Signs. but now we go behind Leclerc into Cops and we go for the dive down the inside and we just about make it there might have been contact but we do make it through and we head into Maggots and Beckett's with a chance to try and pull away from Charles Leclerc. And we put our foot down as we exit. The gap to the car ahead is 7.9 seconds. 7.9 seconds walk on with essentially a lap to go. We're not going to be able to do anything about him, but we are through Sainz and Leclerc. We just need to make sure we pull away from them very quickly here. And... We're already breaking DRS. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. And final lap of the race here. It's going to be very comfortable for us. A seven place finish, which is absolutely fantastic if we can hold on to this. And the way we've pulled away from Leclerc, I don't see any reason we can't complete this turnaround. 
coming from a puncture to then, I think in, in a way it's benefited us. Obviously, it is scripted, but coming out on the fresh softs, nobody's been able to do anything about it. And we accelerate towards cops, knowing seventh place is secure as long as we don't have any accidents throughout the rest of the race. And through Magus and Beckett's for a final time. Probably the best we've taken it all race. It's one that I've never really got on with well since it stopped being flat out. But I think I am getting a lot better at it as we go into Stowe. And it is going to be a brilliant race for Aiden Jackson. Fastest lap of the race as well, thanks to these softs. And we cross the line. All right, race over. Take care of the car on the way in. Absolute fantastic result for us there. Coming out so in seventh place. And what a great race it was. What a race for young Aiden Jackson. If he can keep this up, he's got a long, promising career in front of him. Absolutely. He'd have been gutted about that puncture. Imagine what kind of challenge he'd have been able to make without it. You've got to give it to him, though. He gritted his teeth and pulled it back. Great driving. Now, whisper it quietly, but things seem to be on the up for Racing Point's Aiden Jackson. Want to watch. So after a magnificent race, we can now see the drivers making their way to the podium. Once again, it's the Silver Arrows who take top spot. A well-earned victory for Mercedes. So, a very good recovery drive from Aidan Jackson there. Managing to secure points in the home Grand Prix. So, despite suffering a puncture mid-race, Jackson manages to overcome the odds, securing a brilliant points finish for Racing Point at the British Grand Prix. Let's have a look at the aftermath of that now. So... We've got a round up of Silverson. So it goes on to talk about the British winners at the UK Grand Prix. There's not a lot else there, but let's talk to Brian. Brian. Well, someone's the hot topic in the press room. What do you mean? Oh, come on. There's no need to be so modest. What are you on about, Brian? Oh, after that puncture, everyone thought you'd lost it. But to pull it back, and into the points, it's all anyone's talking about. Well, I'm glad the press are starting to take notice. Oh, get used to it. They put a bunch of interviews in your diary for tomorrow. It's why I was calling. Right. Thanks for letting me know. So don't celebrate too hard tonight, eh? Yeah, all right, Brian. Don't worry. I'm only going to see my mum. Right. Well, each to their own. See you later, Brian. Everything else there seems to be all good. We've got new posts here. People talking about the Grand Prix being very good and being happy with my turnaround and being surprised, some of them being surprised at the way we've recovered from the early season shakiness. So we're going to be going to see our mum, but that'll be in the next chapter. If you have enjoyed that episode today, please do leave a like down below. Comment for letting me know that you've enjoyed the F1 content. Subscribe for more F1 and FM content. And thank you very much for watching.